What's up, guys? Stock Jock here, up $905 on the day. Let's go over the trade. It's definitely a good day so far. So my first trade was GLBS. This one I was watching because DRYS had some good news. News came out that Morgan Stanley took a, I think it was a 6% passive stake in them. And as you know, DRYS is a shipper. Shippers have been hot recently. Uh, it was just a no-brainer to watch shippers. And I wasn't going to watch DRYS just because I don't like how it's been trading recently. You know, it'll get these nice moves where it'll just go up, 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 and then out of nowhere it just drops hard like there's someone just selling or maybe they are they have shares that they're selling. I don't know. I just don't like the way it's traded. But I do know that GLBS often will run in sympathy to either DRYS or whatever shipper of the day is running. So... I was watching DRYS out of the gates, and out of the gates, it sold off. And then we had this red to green move here, where, you know, selling stopped, and then the buyers came in. And inside this is what really what I was watching. I wanted to see if we could get buyers to come in and then break over the open price, right, right around here. Basically, the break of $5 is what I was watching. And that's when I went long on GLBS, when it looked like it was going to do that. 940, I got in. I actually got a really good fill here at 655, right here near the bottom. And sure enough, as soon as the volume came into DRYS, GLBS took off, and I sold into this pop here. I mean, it was only, it was really light volume, like 22,000 shares here, 5,000, 5,000 really light volume to get it all the way up to 722 or 720 so i just started selling in 1000 share increments uh trying just to not drop it all the way down and not make a a nice chunk of change on it so i sold half at 690 and then half at 699.8 basically seven bucks right in there uh, so definitely a good way to start the day made roughly 40 cents on the trade on 2,000 shares. Definitely a nice one. BNSOs had a really nice daily chart. I mean, just really nice. Curve. We had this huge pop the other day. It's kind of consolidated and it's just got this really nice curl pattern going on. So it's a bullish trend on the daily. But that's not really what I was watching. This just gave me confirmation that it was a little bit safer to take this trade I was about to take, which was just basically a scalp move over three. That's all I was looking to do. So right inside here, here's high day. We got the sell off. It came back up. As it was coming back up, I bought into this move looking for the break of $3, which is the whole dollar, which is where a lot of people will put their stops, and you might get an immediate pop. And that's kind of what happened. I bought at 296 right inside here and sold at 303 right here. For, mm, you know, what is that? Six, seven cents? No. Seven cents. Seven cents on 2,000 shares. Another $140. Easy money. I held it for five seconds. Anytime I can make $140 in five seconds, I will take that. So a few minutes later, I just wanted to scalp the next play. We had the, a nice, this is the same move on BNSO. It topped out here, sold off a little bit. And as we're coming back up through the high, the high of day right here, I was going to buy more shares and see how far we can get this next pop. So I bought at 319 as we were breaking high of day. And as soon as it went through, it came right back down inside this candle pretty hard and I did not like that at all so as it moved back up I got lucky I was able to sell for basically a one penny win at 320 made you know ten dollars after commissions so I was fortunate enough to get out of that and I'm glad I did I didn't like the move so I got out and as soon as I did it just sold off quite a bit from where this was so happy to get out of that with ten with a ten dollar win so SGY was my next trade. It kind of just hit my high day scanner. You can see the high day was back here at 9.53 a.m. Kind of sold off, and it was just kind of trickling up. 
I saw the volume come in here as we were going for high day, and I was thinking that would attract more buyers. So I got in at basically three or 680, and then as soon as I did, boom. And at that point, you know, this is a red day for SGY. It's had a really nice move on the daily here. Tapped itself on the 200 day moving average on the daily. And this is definitely a day that it's, it's headed down and maybe we would get a curl over the next two, three days here. But I didn't like how we got up here so close to $7 and then just sold off hard. And, um, I mean, we got down to 660 and I'm in at 680. That's $400 loss I've had, had I sold down there. So, uh, it started to come back up and I sold basically as it was coming back up for roughly a five cent loss, hundred dollars. And I was happy to get out at that price, but not happy what happened next because immediately as I sold, you know, I was like, oh I did the I did the right thing. So I sold up here, double top action, came back down. I'm thinking it's gonna sell off now. What did it do? Oh no, went exactly what I thought it was going to do earlier. Hit 709, that would have been a nice win. And even right now, it's still at 703. So, kind of unfortunate, but it could have been worse uh, for sure. And like I said, if a stock doesn't do what you thought it was going to do, you, just, I, I personally get out and move on. There's other things out there, other other trades to make. And you know, I, I lost 100 bucks on this, but I made it up later. So dries around 11 o'clock showed signs of life. It got above the VWAP here, but then, you know, as you can see, it sold off, but we had this nice little trend, pop, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop, consolidation, pop, and consolidation. And this is the 20 minute moving average of this teal line here. So I was kind of using that as support. As you can see, every time it taps it, it gets a pop. And then we got through the VWAP. So again, watching dries as my leading indicator for GLBS, as it was going up into that moment, I decided to buy in here. And I got in at 667. But as soon as I saw this huge drop in dries, this is the this is those drops that I've been talking about. I immediately sold GLBS for what is it? A penny loss, 20 bucks. Because I just didn't know if dries was just gonna turn over and just drop from there. These are those drops that I've been talking about, and that this is why I hate trading dries. But uh, I bailed on that. But again, look at this move over here. This one was a much better setup. Um, consolidation, and then out of nowhere, you get this massive volume coming in. And as this thing climbed, I got back into GLBS at 688, right up here. And um, as dry started to run, so did GLBS. I sold half at basically $7, and I sold the other half basically even. So I made about $110 on this trade. Again, it's super, super thinly traded right now. So I had to take the win when I had it, just because I didn't know if I was going to have another opportunity to sell. So I was glad I took half, because as you can see, you know, you get this pop and it drops back down. The pop drops back down. There's not a lot of volume to deal with here. It's really thin on both the ask and the bid. So glad to make about $110 on that trade and uh, moved on. ALLY was my next trade. I went short on this. This was a pure news play. Um, if you're new to my channel, I promote Benzinga nonstop. I make so much money just off of hearing breaking news and getting in a stock before everyone else does. So this one was reported on a conference call that ALLY was having. Right here you can see this huge drop off. If you were on the phone listening to the conference call, you would have heard them say that they don't think they're going to meet their end of the year uh, guidance. So they're guiding lower, which is definitely bearish news. And as you can see, boom, nice drop here. And it popped back up, and it's probably algorithms buying this stuff, right? You got the Bollinger Bands, and there's probably algorithms saying buy at the bottom, sell at the top of these Bollinger Bands, and that's what you saw here. You got the buying going back on, 
and it bounced right back up. And right about here is when I heard on Benzinga that ALLY on their conference call was guiding lower. And I got in here short at 1976, dropped down, and I sold as it was dropping down here at 1972 for 1,000 shares. Um, a nice little win was 30 bucks. But as you can see, it's just all over the place here. So currently down even at 1967. But uh, this is just a small example of one of the small news plays that I use on a daily basis. I, I would say I play the news at least once a day and on active days much more. So definitely, definitely promote Benzinga. Look down in the description of this uh, video for a link to Benzinga. Use the coupon code STOCKJOCKAT at checkout for, I think it's 30% off your entire order. So even if you want to try them out for a month or if you want to take a year subscription, definitely, definitely worth it. So that's where I'm at right now. Done for the day, 9.05. Maybe we see what the heck's going on over here at NBCN. But uh, 9.05 is probably where I'll end today. I'm happy with that. If you have any questions, please find me on Google Hangouts at StockJockAT. That's my Google Hangouts name. I answer any questions you may have about trading and definitely try to uh, help people out make money. That's definitely what I'm here for. Also, check out the chat room that I'm in. Chat rooms are huge resources to finding out what's going on in the market today, what the big boys are trading, and uh, definitely one that I promote is in the link in the description down below. I highly recommend them, and um, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.